The next feature we're going to look at on WordPress are the comments. Comments are what people are saying about or on your page. So let's go ahead and click and see what it consists of. Right now, there are no comments that have been found. But if there were, we could do pending comments, the ones that we need to prove before they can be published, approved, spam, or trash. And you can mark each of those comments as one of these and that will allow you to get rid of the ones that you don't want on there. As I said before, there are a lot of spammers that go to WordPress pages because a lot of people don't make sure that they're taking their spam off of their comments and that can really drive you down lower in the rankings for Google. However, you'll want to have comments on your page usually because the more you interact with people, the more they'll come back and visit your site. And the more hits you get, the higher you go in the search engine rankings. So let's go into the dashboard and we're going to set our settings. And I'm going to go under discussion and this is going to allow you to change your comment settings for each post. You have your default article settings up here including attempt to notify blogs linked from the article, allow link notifications from other blogs which allows people to ping you back and track backs, plus this helps you to build your backlinking network which will bring you up higher in the rankings and it will allow people to post comments on new articles. There are other comment settings. The comment author must fill out their name and email and this is always very useful because bots that go and search different WordPress pages aren't able to fill those out. If they can't fill it out, they don't get posted. Users must be registered and logged into comment. Automatically close comments if an article is older than 14 days. Enable nested comments five levels deep, meaning someone can make a comment and then someone can respond directly to them and so on down to five levels deep. You can break comments into pages with top level comments on the first page or the last page. You can display comments with the older comments at the top of each page or the newer. You can make it so that you're emailed whenever someone posts a comment or if a comment is being held for moderation. If an administrator must always approve the comment or whether the comment author must have a previously approved comment to post and that you want to hold the comment in a queue if there are more, two or more links because this is often a very big problem with spam. They'll have more than one link in the comment and that could mean that they're just trying to grab all of your people to take them somewhere to either get spyware on their computer or to buy something or something like that. You can also set your comment moderation statements so if there are any words in a content or name or URL that you want to make sure are weeded out before they even hit your page you'll want to put that in here and a lot of times people will use that for sales or pornography things like that. Underneath you can have a comment that's blacklisted so any content that has words that you choose in it will automatically be marked as spam. Underneath that you can choose avatars whether you want to show avatars or not, what the maximum rating is, and you'll want to make sure that you have this very accurate because you want to make sure that children aren't seeing any kind of content that is questionable and whether you want them to have their own custom avatar or a generated one will show up based on their email address and then click on save changes. Now if you do like I do, I make sure that anytime someone posts that the comment has to be approved and once I do that again I go into my comments section and then I go down through all of my comments and I decide whether they can be published or not. Keeping a close eye on the comments that show up on your page are going to help you be ranked higher and to make sure that no one is putting information on there that you feel is inappropriate or that you don't want your viewers to have. So I hope you enjoyed this little section on comments. Remember, be very careful with what you allow to be published because it's all associated with your blog. So thanks for listening and I'll talk to you soon.